not just under international law and UN law that the Israeli government is committing a genocide, but the Israeli government themselves admit to committing a genocide because they constantly advocate for a genocide of the Palestinian people. I think it would be really prudent for everybody here to read the UN Genocide Convention of 1948 and to reflect on words and actions of recent weeks. All of the essential elements of the crime of genocide as legally defined there are present in what Israel is doing in Gaza. It's normally difficult to show intent, but not this time. Open declarations of genocidal intent every day from the top of Israel's government. Open because they know they're protected by the US and Europe. So again... Yeah, that's true. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu has spoken several times about wanting a genocide against the Palestinian people and religious doctrine to support it. We've had other uh, PMs. We had one that said they wanted to nuke Gaza. He had another on, uh, he had a, uh, um, a leader of the Security Council uh, say he wanted to create a humanitarian crisis so bad in Gaza that it would be impossible for anybody to exist there. And to those who say Israel has a right to defend itself, I urge you, read the Genocide Convention and maybe have a chat with your lawyer because you could be complicit in international war crimes. It's not complicated. For peace in the region, the Zionist apartheid state of Israel must be dismantled. That is now understood by a majority of the world's population, including substantial sections of Jews. No justice, no peace. Yeah, even tons and tons of Jewish people, as well as uh, Israelis, uh, condemn the Israeli government for the genocide that they're committing and it's crazy to try to uh, act like all Jewish people are a monolith and will uh, be siding with the Israeli government because that isn't